Yeah. I can see. Should I say the answers as I go along or after? Like, oh, everyone. One by one, you keep telling me the answers. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get the paper. Go. Can I have the paper, please? Um, I kind of forgot which way was it like okay. so times to make three or pluses to make three. Okay, if you have to factorize, see, you have to choose two numbers. When you multiply them, it should give you minus four, and when you add them, it will give you plus three. Okay. Yeah. It was simpler ones. No, like the pics that you have sent me. Are you sure that I have given you this number? Yes. Yeah. It was the other, you know, the two PDFs before, like last lesson. Yes, yes, yes. I have sent you two PDFs. Yes, and we have done. Yeah, it was. Out of that and the remaining questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me show this.
Okay, see this question. Wait a second. Okay, see this question. Question yes. number tenth that you have sent me, and part B. It's five t equals forty. So t equals forty divided by five. So forty divided by five is what? Forty divided by five. Yes. Eight. Yes, but you have written t equals twenty. Ten part. Question number ten part B. It's t equals twenty that you have. Okay. okay. Or like if you can find oh. where you can see on the screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. It. And also like question sixteen. It's Eight. The answer is positive three. Okay. Uh, also it's seventeen. Oh, yes, it's positive one. Uh, four. Three, so positive three. Question number sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'll do the For the first one, is it, um, x equals 4 and x equals minus 1? X equals 4 and x equals minus 1, right? Yeah. It's um, actually at, it's x equals minus 4 and plus 1. See, when you choose two numbers... I'm just writing it here. Okay? It's x squared plus 3x minus 4. x squared plus 3x minus 4. Definitely my two numbers are what? 1 is minus 4 and 1 is plus 1. Is this clear? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, hello? 
I'm gonna unshave my display. Um, yeah, now I can. Okay. So you can see the question is x squared plus 3x minus 4. So I have to find yes. the factors of 4 and uh, 4. So it can be 2 and 2 and 4 and 1. But it's negative 4. That means my one number should be positive and one number should be negative. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, so I can see the two numbers are plus 4 and minus 1. Okay. Okay. And minus one. So when you Why multiply you them, you'll get minus four. When you add them, you'll get plus three. Okay. So two factors are x plus four and x minus one equals zero. So x plus four equals zero is x equals minus four, and x minus one equals zero is x equals plus one. So answer is minus four and one. Now see the yes.
Hello? Yes. I'm like, I can't find the answer. For second part? Yeah, B. Okay. So it's x squared plus x minus 12, right? Mm, yeah. so, so what you have to do, you just have to look out for the last number. You have to factorize it. You have to find the factors. Mm -hmm. So I can say the factors are 6, 2, 12, 1, and 3, 4. These are three pairs, right? Yes. Now the thing is, the product is negative. That means one number should be positive and one should be negative. If both are positive, product will be positive. If both are negative, product will be ne positive. So one should be positive and one should be negative. Yes. So if I suppose take minus 2 and plus 6, plus 2, and also the sum is positive. That means the larger number well, should be positive and the smaller okay. number should be negative. Is this clear? So my yeah. pairs are 6 minus 2, 12 minus 1, and 3 minus 4. Is this clear? Okay. Yes. In this manner, you have to, uh, like, you can say filter out. Okay. So first, you have to find the factors. Then you have to see that the product is negative or positive. If it's negative, that means any of the numbers should be negative. Now look at for the sum. If sum is positive, that means the larger number should be positive and the smaller number should be negative. Okay, now see, okay. 6 minus 2 will give you 4, 12 minus 1 will give you 11, and 3 minus 4, sorry, this one, and 4 minus 3 will give you 1. Now you, you tell me, which pair matches this one? Product? The last one? Yes, that's correct. So, your factors are x <coughs> minus 3 and x plus 4 equals 0. From here, I can calculate x minus 3 equals 0, that is x equals 3. And x plus 4 equals 0, that is x equals minus 4. This is my answer. Okay? You just know yes. this stuff. Okay? It will be better. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It will help you. So the rest of the Yeah, okay. okay. Now move on to the next question.
So, have you solved the next question? I'm solving, um, I couldn't do this, so I went to, I couldn't do C, so I went into D, E, and F. So, solve it, give me an answer, then I'll give you an answer.
Hello? Yeah. Okay, I have a question. Um. Okay, so I'm doing it, but I have a question. Okay, so um, so you know how plus times minus equals minus? Yes. So when it's like um like plus four or plus six, how am I supposed to get that? Okay, plus 4 and plus 6 if you have to multiply this. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, like C and D. Okay, so C and D. In this, let's take this example. It's x squared minus 5x plus 4. Like I got minus 6 and minus 4, but not plus. Okay, so first thing is it's minus 5x plus 4, right? Is this question? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So you have to look out for the factors. So factors are 4, 1 and 2, 2. Point clear? Yes. Okay. So definitely, if you're multiplying them together, thing is, both numbers should be positive and both numbers should be negative. They can be positive and both numbers can be negative because if you multiply minus 1 and minus 1, you'll get 1. And 1 and 1, you'll get 1. Okay. So, if your product is positive, the possibility is that either both number can be positive or both number can be negative. Now, you have to jump on the sum. Sum is negative. That means your both numbers are negative. So, factors are minus 4 and minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 2. Now, just add them. Minus 4 minus 1 give you minus 5, minus 2 minus 2 minus 4. That means this one is correct. And the factors are x minus 4 and x minus 1 and values of x are 4 and 1. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, so solve this next question. Are you sure it's clear? So just note it down. Okay? Yeah. Okay.
so have you done part B? D, yes. Um, X equals 2 and X equals 3? Yes. And then for E, X equals 3 and X equals minus 1. X equals 3 and X equals minus 1. Yes. Okay, so actually X equals minus 3 and plus 1. Because when we, the two factors are plus 3 and minus 1. X plus 3 into X minus 1. Okay. Okay. Because when you multiply 3 and minus 1, you get minus 3. And when you add 3 and minus 1, you will get plus 3. Is it okay. clear or should I write this one? No, no, I got it. And then for f, x equals 1 and x equals minus 2. And then for g, x equals minus 2, x equals minus 3. And then for h, x equals 3 and x equals 5. Uh, it's x equals 3 and x equals 5, right? Yes. Yes, that's correct. x equals 3 and x equals 5. Yes, yes. have done up to it from here it's i j k l m n o p rest of the question from i to p this is mm -hmm. for homework okay you have to do these questions yes yeah? okay. okay yes so like uh, you have already pdf you have downloaded pdf you just open it like no need to take screenshot or photograph you have pdf on your skype you just open that and your homework is from i to p Okay, now you tell okay. me, are these types of questions clear? How to factorize these? Yeah, now they are. Okay, well, thank you. Bye. Bye, have a nice day. Thank you.